okay? You say, no, no, not even teach. That's also okay. See, the thing is, Sanskrit is a beautiful language, okay? It's the most wonderful <laughs> language. Any children who get an opportunity to study, study Sanskrit in school, please do it. When you get an opportunity to study one, um, second language, first language, whatever is that, you can do it, okay? Sanskrit is a very, very beautiful language okay? because it's called Deva Bhasha. In the sense, lot of spiritual truths are communicated in Sanskrit. Lot of books are there, spiritual truths are there in books in Sanskrit. Okay? It is like, if you want to get a wealth of information, only way is Sanskrit. But of course, what happens is, there are a lot of, a lot of books which are translations there, English translations there. So when you do the English translation, it's okay. If I don't know Sanskrit, I can learn English translation. But what happens is that in English translation, there will be errors. Okay? The errors because Sanskrit is such a precise language. Anything you try to do, there's an error. Okay? Because there's some uh, something you cannot communicate a meaning in any language. Right? And the moment you communicate a meaning in any language, that will lead to error. Sanskrit is very, very precise. Okay? For example, what do you mean by heaven? Anybody can tell me what is the meaning of heaven? Definition? The place where happiness is there. Many girls, many wine, <laughs> drinking, <laughs> dancing, party all the time. <laughs> so, your definition of sar heaven is sarga, uh, heaven. <laughs> but Sanskrit is called nakam. There are two words for Sanskrit. Okay. I, I am just telling the beauty of Sanskrit. One is called nakam. Nakam means Sanskrit. The word, you don't have to go another dictionary. Because then the people can mistake it. So word itself will have a meaning. So nakam can be split as na akam. Means where there is no unhappiness is cause heaven. If you are if you are not unhappy here, you are in heaven. Others will keep on looking for a heaven as a place of partying. <laughs> right? This is the problem of English. In English you can mislead you. Okay? Interpretation can change. Huh. But Sanskrit, the interpretation is built in. Swarga, then you will ask the question, how can I be happy? Swarga, swa means, if you are, swa means self. Okay, if you are, swarga means, love yourself. Okay, then you are happy. Now you tell me, where, which place is that? <laughs> right? So now, if, 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 if you start getting English word, then it will lead you mislead it somewhere. For example, monastery. Monastery means a place, like ashram. Okay, with the four walls. Now people also say, oh, they go by English word and start thinking, oh, I have to go, I have to get a piece, I have to go to monastery, ashram, this thing and all. The Sanskrit, the word is called ashram. It's a beautiful word. Ashram means, shram means trouble. Where there is no trouble, it's called ashram. Okay, if there is a house, there is no trouble. Husband doesn't trouble wife, wife, wife doesn't trouble husband. Both don't trouble anybody else. <laughs> and both are doing service, dharma. A dharmic way they live, yeah. and the house is called ashram. ashram. Okay, so like that, if you don't understand the real meaning, we start getting misled. So that misleading to avoid Sanskrit is required. Now I have learned not learned Sanskrit. Okay, is it time to study Sanskrit? I I would say, not necessary. Okay, this much is clear. And also Sanskrit is another language, Sanskrit is one more language, which is very useful for natural language processing. Computer is best language for computer. <coughs> you heard like Siri and Google Alexa and all, no? Yeah. So for that, the programming can be done with the Sanskrit. I don't know whether they have done it, but program Sanskrit is a beautiful programming language. Another beauty of Sanskrit is Sanskrit is subjective language. It's not objective. For example, when you say moon, what do you mean by moon in English? <coughs> a satellite roaming around somewhere. In Sanskrit, it's called Chandrama. Okay? They don't speak about what is the moon. They see that moon, that object there, affects me, my mind. Drama means my mind gets melted. Looking at which my mind melts is called moon. So, 
it is a subjective language it it brings a beauty to your life and many things words in sanskrit they don't have any equality in any language for example dharma dharma they translated as religion in english is completely wrong so like that there are many many things okay so that it has a beauty of its own okay if you if you get a opportunity in school please study right take sanskrit and study if you don't get opportunity those who have time want to study study but those who have got a guru don't go for that just because all everything what is there in spiritual text is already finally filtered and given to you in a form you can digest now it's not time for you to start uh, uh, cooking uh, start bringing rice and start cooking <laughs> putting fire and then start uh, okay a person who has got a real master his words the final there's no uh, there's no scripture which can teach what guru can teach no scriptures you can understand as guru explains so if you have got a guru fine then fine over listen to the words of guru listen to the teaching of guru that's over but if you want to do study sanskrit <coughs> see the, there are always all these things you have to understand you do puja for god okay why do you do puja for god Thanksgiving. Huh? Thanksgiving. <laughs> you do puja for God, worship God. <laughs> the puja for God, worship to God, will lead you to a guru. The phala of puja of Bhagwan is guru. Okay. Guru means right guru who will teach you spirituality. that guru if he can teach spirituality he becomes spiritual guru if he is a realized person he is a sadguru the all janma sadhana all janma puja for you will lead to a sadguru the phala of worship of god is sadguru god will come in your life as sadguru okay after you get sadguru there is no other god other than yourself you will realize god in your heart that's the dead end so you will not meet god anywhere else okay phala of puja of god worship yatra study of scriptures is sadguru phala of meeting sadguru is realization of sadguru in your heart that's all the full stop right so if you have got a guru if you have got a sadguru then don't waste your time on scriptures that's the end any questions but young children please study sanskrit get an opportunity wherever you get an opportunity study it any other questions can you close for the day hmm? ah okay what next <laughs> so what next here